people, welcome. This is Unfinished, the only place where we get to finish unfinished matches. I am your host, SK Gitonga. Thank you for joining. I hope you had a lovely week and I also hope you're enjoying your weekend. Where are you happening this weekend? Kuna pahali, unafakwenda, nanisahi. Are you considering using a cap? Because that's what we are talking about today. We are talking about safety on digital taxi apps. Tell me what you think in the comment section at Y254, hashtag unfinished. So NTSA has actually said we only have five digital taxi apps that are licensed to be working in Kenya. So I am going to give you a task to find out if your favorite app is actually one of them. So on to our first question. Do you think you are safe in a taxi, especially at night? Let me know what you think in the comments section. I'm usually not 100% safe. What I do, I make sure that I've call people before I get into an Uber or a Bolt so that they may know that I'm from this distance to my destination. That's what I do to be safe. I'm in a taxi. I feel like si am not the same as Matatu because I'm going to your destination. According to my own, I squeeze here. To say when they come in a kwanga 50-50 cause number one, will a driver wears you come to a home jui, come a ama home jui near yake. So squeeze if a mali penny may fit, especially here in Nairobi, uh, una panda na kujia mini. To say when they come a kujia mini, cause sasa, come a mali sasa, wali penny may see mama, si jui nini ni akinanani, nini pia omni jui, na mjui near yango. So I'm um, to say me sasa kama ni Uber mm, kuna vitu zenye wanafaa pia wakuwa wakifuatilia kama tuseme vile matatu zilikuwa eh, ya kwamba ukipanda unapata jina yake na picha yake iko pale mbele hiyo eh, itasaidia pia sasa zile unapebo sasa zile wanakubeba wao wenyewe we mwenyewe unajua namba yao yake ya simu unaweza text mtu kama friend yako umwambie ile gari uko nayo na driver just in case something happens my safety is on my hands, so taxi is just but a tool I'm using to get somewhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think it, it depends. You can be or not be safe, depending on, uh, on whose hands you are as the person who's driving you or as the Uber driver or owner. Yeah. Fairly safe. Uh, I feel fairly safe in taxis because I, I go through the whole uh, verification uh, process. You have to double check or check or double check uh, the details. Uh, yeah, and also I, I feel <laughs> uh, having probably a certain person is, is uh, maybe on your speed dial. You have this guy who are born or this guy will come through for me, something of that sort, yeah. About safety. Uh, what I can say is that safety begins with me and uh, how safe I am, it depends with uh, where I am from and where I'm heading to because you realize that safety is all about whatever we do on our own. So how, how can I be safe is maybe I leave it to God. Yeah, because at times emergency can present itself. But with time you can understand how to maintain your safety and how to be on time and how to meet deadlines. Uh, going by the recent uh, findings, you've realized that we tend to get safe when we use the online taxi, when you just, by the press of a button, you get a Uber, a random Uber. So. When it comes to a bizarre incident where now you, you are exposed to unsafe uh, ordeal, then I think it could be somebody's fate or maybe just any unfortunate incidents. Yeah. Sometimes you never know at night what can happen. It can either be a, a thug or a, just a regular guy. So you can tell him, uh, can we stop here and get some few things? and he takes off or uh, he can even come with you and help you out with your, your if you have an issue so yeah it's a it's a, a two-way spectrum 
So you can meet a bad person, you can meet a good person. Uh, okay, I'm safe if I know the person who is driving, because now since we have uh, Uber apps, you have to know the person who is driving the vehicle. So if I know who that person is, I think I'm safe. It means the first thing to me to ensure that I'm safe. Uh, the direction and the destination where I, I will be dropped and the routes that we are using. No, you board a taxi and you realize that the routes that is he or she is using, they are not that straight. They are Topanya routes. So you start questioning yourself. That's the first thing that makes me feel insecure. And like, the, like we have the main road, but he ought to use the Panya routes with the reason known to himself, not because there, are, there is a traffic on the main road, but just because he wants to use it. That's the first question. The second thing is when you board, your, he will tell you, like, I want us to go offline. Why should we go offline? I get. He wants you to go offline so that you can pay either less or more. For him, he will tell you that, but why should I? And yet you are using it for online. So why should we go offline? Now the second. Then the third, I bought, I ordered a taxi alone. Then you come as a driver with another person seated in front. How am I so secure that this person is not one of you? And if he's a customer, why did you take my order and yet you have another customer headed two different destinations? And if you are heading to one destination, why would you not drop her or him first before you drop me? So that makes me insecure in second place or in third place? A hundred percent not safe. Either at night or at daytime. Uh, right now, you are not safe anywhere. Not in the streets, not in the village, and especially in a taxi where you are locked in a confined place. Someone is driving you. They have control of you because when you are at the back of the seat and they have locked the doors, they can do with you whatever they want. So you are not safe at night, during the day. Uh, it's by God's grace we are, we are surviving in this country. Yes. To some level, we safe because uh, taxi mainly drivers for taxi are they are Kenyan, and most are Kenyan youth. So when we walk to Kutafuta, uh, walk sana into Walifu. But you know we live in a society in Yekona Walifu. So to some extent here, you're not that much safe. Yeah. So, but uh, I will say to some level it is safe. Okay, I will just say, come on, you have to time you have at that you have order that Uber. Like if you pass at uh, midnight, you have to go to the Uber, you have to go So, like, you have to go to the Uber, but during that time, you have to go to the Uber, and 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 you have to go that that situation ya usiku sana ndio inaweza kuwa naweza sema si si safe sana vile uh, i don't think i'm safe especially at night because number one you don't know the taxi driver and of course you're not sure whatever uh, of what can happen to you yeah in my opinion, I feel like the first thing to check is that you are sober for your own safety and also for the driver's safety because we can have passengers that are physically abusive to the driver as well. Then make sure the details that are on the car are the same details that are on the app and the driver that's driving you is the same driver on the app. Then uh, another step you can take is to share your trip with your friends so they can keep tracking how you're going. And then also make sure you do not go offline. So on to our second question. How do you think taxi app ensure the safety of the customer? Let me know what you think in the comment section at Y254 hashtag unfinished. In a taxi, I make sure first my location is on, my GPS, so that if in case of anything happening, someone can track me. There's only someone with my backup email account. Because these days people go missing and finding them is hard. But in my safety in, um, in the car, make sure that you know the driver study to Kwamacho before you go on with your journey. Kwanza we join in at the driver, we make sure you know the person. 
tuseme kama sana sana wakati mwingine mimi hutumia Uber. E, kitu ya kwanza gari ikikuja kwanza naangalia namba break na make sure nime key in kwa simu yangu ama nime text best yangu nimemwambia niko kwa gari fulani maybe kama nilikuwa naenda kumtembelea namwambia sana niko kwa gari niko kwa gari fulani na nakuja hiyo tu ndio nadhani tu inaweza kuwa step ya maana tu cuz up wengine katikati wezi ukajua kutaendaje it's just trying to be um, at the right place at the right time and you know praying to your god to help you don't land into someone who's going to you know take advantage of you and something like that i i first of all you have to confirm uh, the details on the app if they match the vehicle uh, i think that's what i have been doing confirming the details uh yeah and i think is i have not been in a situation where i have to like really doubt yeah well what i do the first thing is i pray my last prayers and uh, i realize that i believe now that i'm safe then the next thing i do is i take great care i don't get uh I don't get disillusioned. I ensure that I don't take any drink. I ensure that I don't confront the the driver so that everything remains constant. So in the event that uh, an unfortunate incident appear, happens or appears, I know how to handle myself, I know how to handle the driver and maybe if there are maybe kidnappers or anything, I would maybe raise alarm by my phone maybe call uh, an emergency number like the police line and the helpline and all that i always ride with my my boys i always i'm not i'm never alone uh, in anuba yeah that's what i do uh, i don't want a situation where uh, i touch something i black out i wake up in the bushes yeah lazima ni kwenye yo app na nione the vehicle yani ko ime register kwa app the same vehicle that is parked and i'm supposed to enter yeah ensure the driver the name and the number plates the the vehicle that i ordered online is the same vehicle that has come not another thing and the driver that i call i talk to is the same driver that is coming not like i call another driver and then the taxi that is coming to me it's different from the one that i ordered yeah that's the first thing then the second thing ensure my location on phone is on ensure my location is on so that if anything happens they can trace from the first place to another and then i let my friends know that i'm leaving this destination to another destination from where i'm leaving they know that i've left and to where i'm going i keep on updating them on that i've reached so and so is to make sure that the the taxi that you are using matches the description on the online platform eh? the number plate and the name of the driver sometimes you also look at the driver and you see if they are they look scary you you judge <laughs> you know also you make sure you also communicate to someone else especially your friend where you are going to you make sure you make sure they know you are coming uh, using a taxi and uh, ETA you know there is expected time of arrival if anything happens they they will be the first one to know the other thing is to avoid traveling at night which is hard but if you are able to avoid using taxis at night use a taxi that you know the 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 traditional taxis the one that you call the driver over the phone they know you you know them you know where they live use that one use those ones yeah, at night especially during the day you can risk yeah. when i use taxi most mostly during the night or the late hours i would uh, try so much that uh, i don't take a taxi alone at least we are two uh, when we walk in the night so we could have somebody who can raise alarm uh, and when you are two at, at least you you are much safer than when you are alone.
So I try as much as possible to avoid being alone when using a uh, taxi, more so in the night or even during the day. Yeah, because uh, you know you cannot just trust somebody who you don't know is a stranger. You make a request and he, he'll come pick you. So the, the, the first precaution I would take is to at least board the taxi with another person. So first of all, ni kujua the company, the, that company will in a work. Hmm? Like, uh, it's kwe kitu ni umepata tu leo, na una take it, na una amua, yani, yani like, this, today una order this different. So itabidi you stick na what you always use. Kama ni bolt, na yata na bolt, hivyo. Kama ni hile ni unajua, ni hivyo tu. Kasa hiyo shift, na kujua, yani history ya hiyo ya company, ndo important thing ya kujua hapo. Utajua confidentiality na vile wako na work. Hivyo, sasa ndo ndo kwa na amini, hile company itakwa ni nainside ya. Okay, uh, I remember there is a time when I boarded a taxi and uh, something, ju my instincts uh, just told me, you know, this could not be safe. And what I did is that I sent my live location to several, several relatives and in that way they could track everywhere that I was uh, going and I think uh, that is the most safe way to ensure your safety. In my opinion, I feel like the first thing you should check is ensure that you are sober for your own good and also for the driver's sake. Um, also, make sure that you confirm the details on the car are the same details on the app, the same driver on the car, same driver on the app. Then also, you can uh, decide to share your details with your friends so they can track how you're going. Also, make sure you do not go offline for your own safety. Let's take a short break. We'll be back with two more questions.